Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now today I have the easiest practical, the easiest recipe for you that I've ever had on Food Tech 101. Today I'm going to show you how to make butter at home with just one ingredient and a jar. Before we get started, just do me a quick favour. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, let's get to it. But before we get into it, let's just quickly get the science part out of the way because you know that when we're doing our stuff, we, we want to know what's happening with the ingredients. So how can we turn cream into butter? Cream is an example of an emulsion. It is a fat in water emulsion. So there's two types of emulsion. You can have a fat in water or water in fat. It basically goes by the ratio. So this has about 30 odd, maybe 38, 39% fat in water. So it's a fat in water. Depending on the ratio, some emulsions are water in fat. This one is a fat in water emulsion. So in this mixture of double cream, we have fat smoothly mixed together with water to get this creamy liquid. So what we're gonna have to do in this particular practical is separate the fat from the water and it's much easier and less scientific than you might think. Right, so now we understand the science, let's not overcomplicate it. I've poured my cream into a jar. Now it's important there's a good bit of space in the jar because basically we're gonna shake this jar together. And it's important again that your jar has quite a wide top because ultimately we're separating water from fat so we'll have a big blob of fat. If the neck's too narrow, we won't get the fat back out again. So one big jar, I'm using about 600 mils of double cream. If you have, if you want to make more butter, then you use more cream, simple as that. But try and make sure it's about half of whatever jar size you're using left so we can shake it. And that's it. Close up my jar, and then I'm gonna shake it. So, make yourself comfortable, get yourself some space, put on your favorite music, share this activity uh, with, the, with the different members of your family. Let's get shaking and see what happens. This is actually surprisingly tiring. It is actually a pretty good workout. We're shaking for about 30 seconds. Let's see what we got. Already, it's getting pretty thick, pretty thick. It's kind of like the consistency. Let's have a look. So, I'm shaking for about 30 seconds and we've got the consistency, a bit like a whipped cream. So, we've got to keep going. So it's thickened up, but we've got to keep going. Let's go. Ooh, now after a good two or three minutes of very, very vigorous shaking, you can see uh, the water is starting to separate from the fat. Now, depending on what kind of, uh, what kind of cream you've used, if you're using double cream, double cream is the heaviest of the types of creams you can get. That might, that might just get really, really thick and be difficult to shake. If that's the case, you just add a little bit of water to, to get it moving again um, to help the separation. So with this double cream, I'll add a little bit of cold water just to kind of make it a little bit easier to shake about and a little bit easier to help us get our separation. So we can see the buttermilk, the, the white substance, and separate from the fat. So I'm about a third of the way through. I've got to get shaking again. Okay, we've really shook the pants off this. Uh, I've broken a good sweat, I've had a good workout, I've burnt a good few calories. Now, I'm going to see what we've got. So, you can see all the water in there. I'm gonna pour off all the buttermilk and see what, what we have left. So here we go. 
poured off 200 milliliters of buttermilk. Now it's not pure buttermilk because we did add a little bit of water to get it going, but that's still quite a lot of liquid. Now, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more shaking on this. Let's see if we can separate a little bit more. So, a little bit more shaking. What I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this because what I want is pure butter with no buttermilk, just pure butter. I think if you have any buttermilk left in the fat itself, then it makes it go off more quickly. So we wanna make sure that we keep uh, shaking it until the water is pretty much clear. Then we'll tip it out and see what we've got. So we can now see our blob of fat rolling around. Now I've got cold water in here. If you've got ice cold water, well, it's even better because it keeps the fat part itself quite solid and together. I'm just really rinsing this off now to make sure I get rid of all the buttermilk. So as I'm doing this final rinse now, I'm gonna keep shaking it up a little bit, not quite as rigorous as before, just to get rid of it. And I'm gonna keep doing this until the water is completely clear. And we're there. So what I've done, I've kept on shaking it, pouring off the water, adding water until the water is clear. Now this water is almost virtually clear. So I'm just gonna give it one more rinse and then we'll pour out and see how much butter we've actually managed to get. You can see the water is virtually clear now. So I'm just washing all the buttermilk off. Now we don't want any buttermilk left in the fat itself. Otherwise that'll make it go off quickly. We want pure fat. So, so we know it's pure fat when all the water runs completely clear. So it's a little bit cloudy. So I'm gonna rinse this a few more times until it's absolutely, completely and totally clear. And then we'll see how much butter we've actually been able to make from the cream we started off with. And there we go. Clear water with our butter. All right, let's tip this out, see how much butter we've managed to make. All right, and we are done. Look at all that butter. That is crazy. The thing that all that butter came from, from just this much cream. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to weigh out how much butter we managed to get from our 600 milliliters of cream. This is two grams shy of 400 grams of butter. That's closing in a half a kilogram of butter, which is really surprising considering what it came from. This is a pure butter at the moment. So what I'm gonna do for this particular butter, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and mix some salt in, because you know, if you're gonna have butter, you prefer it to be salted, otherwise it's a little bit tasteless. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Now for you, making this at home, you can add to this butter whatever you like. You can add some salt, you can add some herbs, some fresh herbs, some, some, well actually probably call dried herbs, um, some seasoning, some garlic. You can add to this whatever you like to make it flavorsome. Add a little bit of honey if you wanna be creative. So share with me in the comments below your ideas of how you're going to modify this basic butter. Because let's, I mean, let's, let's be creative. So normally when we buy butter, we just buy salted butter, but if you go to some of these artisan shops, you can get all kinds of fancy butter. So let's see what we can do. So uh, a good one would be some garlic, some salt, and some dried herbs to get a nice herby flavored butter. Um, that, that's quite nice to have on toast or something, but you share with me your ideas. If you've got a really cool um, butter recipe, a flavored butter recipe, add it in the comments. All I'm gonna do is add a little bit of salt, and I'm just gonna mix that in, just in my hands. The butter's quite soft at the moment. It's still got a bit of water in it. So I might wanna try and squeeze out some of the water. As you can see, it's just pure, look at that. Pure butter, look at that. Incredible. So now, I'm putting in a container. This is just an empty watercress container that I've just rinsed out, just to, so it can be, I can get the shape. And there we have it, the product of all our sweat and labor. We have about 400 grams of butter. As a reminder, a regular block of butter is about 250 grams. So we've almost got 
almost twice as much butter as a regular butter block of butter. And the byproduct is buttermilk. Now I can't consume buttermilk at all because um, I'm allergic. But you see, see the love I have for you guys and making stuff I can't even use myself. Look at all that butter from just, from just one tub of cream. So there we have it. It took a lot of sweat, a lot of elbow grease, of agitation, but you know what? It was a good workout, but I've got almost 400 grams of pure butter. You know exactly what's in it. You've gone through the process yourself. You've had fun and activity for the whole family. And somehow things taste better when you put your own, I was gonna say sweat into it, no, there's no actual sweat in it, but you know what I mean. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you'll never miss another video when it comes out. As always, my name is Mr. Lyburn, but you can call me Sir. Of things we know.